Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over the gradient map adjustment. And what the gradient map adjustment does is it replaces the tonal values of the image with color supplied by a gradient that you choose. So it's a good tool for creating special color effects or inverting the grayscales of your colors or um, there's some other things that it's also good for. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and open up the image that you want to use then go to image go to adjustments and then we'll go to gradient map the first thing it does is it brings up a gradient map that's already chosen so let's go ahead and click on this um, arrow here so we can click uh, get the gradient picker now here's a couple gradients that Photoshop has chosen for us and you can choose black and white now the gradient goes from the left to the right. The left is going to be the shadows, the middle here is going to be the midtones, and the right is going to be the highlights. Now we can reverse this to invert the image and we get a crazy cat. Or we can uh, click on dither here and what the dither does is, is it um, adds random noise to smooth out the gradient and reduces banding. So let's just so you know what that means. So you can, it's up to you if you want to use dither or not. Sometimes you can see it, see how nice it looks and sometimes you can't. So let's go ahead and I wanted to show you something else. Once we click on this and we go to our options here, right here, which is this little gear, we can load presets and say presets and all that stuff. And then we've got some presets here that are pretty nice, especially this one called photographic toning. Let's click on that and we'll hit OK. And save changes. OK, we'll hit yes, that's fine. No, actually we're not. So now we've got these better looking toning methods here. And if I click on one, we get these different tones. Here we go, that looks pretty nice. We get some different looking effects going on here that we can use as like a color cast almost with our images. Some of them work well in certain images and some of them don't. Now if I hit cancel here and go over to our gradient map over here which is the picture of the gradient, I can also, um, where is it, here it is, do the same thing. Photographic toning, okay, and then we've got our toning uh, ones here. So you can do it from the adjustment layer, so same thing. So you've also got other ones here like the special effects you know okay and we've got a couple of special effects here ooh psychedelic I hope you guys aren't watching this on mushrooms because you may be freaking out right about now so we've got um, some cool this one's this one's pretty crazy but um, that's about it for the gradient map and um, you've got the same same things going on here we've got our dither we've got our reverse here and the reverse is going to be the same because it's the same thing going on throughout um, here. It's like a reversible. So that's it for the gradient map. And hopefully you guys can use some of these special effects to make your image look pretty cool. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Everybody have a good one.